Today we're gonna teach Shirley how to fish or how to cast for the first time. It's very simple, Shirley. You just release it, the rod here with the wheel. You hold the line, and then you do, and you release it once. Oh, carefully! Yeah. You release. Look and drag it in quick because it's very shallow here. So this is just a test. All right, you got it. Yep. Let's see. Shirley's first ever <laughs> cast. Oh, we cut something. We cut something. We cut seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> we see grass. Alright, remember, release. Wait, long. Where was that again? It's right there. You release this one, then yeah, you hold yeah. the line at the same time. I'm having trouble. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're in progress. <laughs> we'll see you guys out there after a little bit of practice. <laughs> it's a little bit choppy, but we're heading out there. Follow the coordinates of the death. And the wind is picking up. Oh my god. <laughs> Found the spot, we drop in the bed. Let's see how it goes. It's about 180 meters depth here. Okay. So it's gonna take a while to go all the way to the bottom. We got small showers of rain now, but we're gonna go even closer to the shore because um, it's much bigger than we anticipated. Now it's forming as well above Cebu. Necros is completely covered, so we're gonna go extra close to shore and try to jig there. There was too much current for you or heavy jigs to even reach the bottom. It just took it out, so let's go into a uh, more shallow. Scared of the rain? That is pretty nuts. Like, look at that, guys. <laughs> Are you gonna brush your teeth, Jake? Are you gonna brush your teeth? Let me see you. Jake. Are you gonna brush your teeth? Okay, we came back. Yet another unsuccessful <laughs> fishing trip. <laughs> Someone is going to jump. <laughs> but we learned something. The weather is kind of important. And uh, Shirley also got a chance to. Learn how to cast a little bit. Yeah. How was it? 
Yeah. 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 Okay, we're attaching to the buoy. Gonna drop the line. We're joined by Edsel. Raymond. What's our score, Raymond? Uh, zero, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> so the fish is still winning us. <laughs> well, we got some tricks up our sleeve this time. We attached a fake squid, shrimp, whatever, onto the hooks. Maybe that will do the trick. But lately we've been going out when it's way too choppy, way too windy. But the condition is a little bit better today, so we'll see how it goes. We oh, got boy. something! We got some spoon! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we get! It's not fighting! Well, the puffer fish wasn't fighting either. Maybe it's another puffer. Oh! oh. oh. Jump fish. Oh, nice oh, one! Nice one. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god, look at this! Go. Beautiful rusty jump fish! Perfect. Let's get some more. Let's get some more, bro. Get some more, Ben. <laughs> ben, you need, you need to get some Zero. more. Zero. <laughs> That's a lot of tuna. The school of tuna right in front of us, so we're gonna drag over it. This is nuts. We just saw tuna jumping, loads of smoke fishes, and birds above them as well. So we're gonna circle around that. Block it. All right, we didn't catch it. That was so funny. I turned off the camera and said, Block it. We didn't catch a tuna, but that's interesting because they're bringing out these uh, palm leaves from the coconut tree where they put. Well, they, yeah, the buoys attached it to the rope and that attracts a lot of fish. We also saw the big trolley boat. So. Oh no, there it is. That's the other one. Where, where did that one come from? They have two. They have two of them, okay. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to see them go out with all the nets. That was great breakfast. First time I eat here, LRR restaurant or something. Had a tangige fish. 
think that was the first time I had it. It was absolutely delicious. So tender, so sweet. It just melted in your mouth. That was, oh, what a breakfast. Tangiki. Hey, Red. How are you, Red? <laughs> getting so big just like jig i think that they're full size it's like a baby inside this dog yeah, i know it looks like a intimidating bulldog and all that but he is the sweetest dog ever anyways we made it to allegria ah oh, that is good i needed coffee woke up 4 a.m we did a little bit of fishing but the main reason with this video we want to come back here because it is a frog fish season in the philippines so i don't know why I don't know the scientific reason, maybe you guys can comment below and then after this video or after I film, I go back home and research a little bit why that is and maybe I'll present that later on in this video as well. But that only means we have to go out there every day almost to try to search for the frogfish. It is this cute, tiny little funniest, weird looking fish that prefers to walk instead of swim. <laughs> And sometimes they even have something attached to the head, like a lure. And they're fishing with their lure on top of their head and then they boom, swallow a fish. It's really cool. Ah, so the mission today, we're gonna do a lot of scuba diving and try to find that. How you doing, Don? Yep. You good? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna take Don with us out i'll be his guide today he is currently open water so we can only go down to 18 meters so we'll play it safe we'll stick around the shallow reef and look for frogfish now sometimes when i'm diving around cebu i take it for granted how beautiful the corals and reef are around the dive sites but the further you look and pay attention and you dive slowly i started to notice a couple of new things uh, for example this reef fish here he was swimming among the seagrass he had well, he almost blended in with them. You can see his tail or his body is about 50% green, making him perfect camouflage living there. Also been noticing a lot more seagrass growth uh, around the sandy areas as well as some algae so place that I normally don't see them so I'm, I'm not sure what's going on in the reef now or what season it is but I can see a lot of changes as well this Nemo fish this is kind of strange said I'm not quite sure because his anemone his home is gone right below him there used to be an enemy but now a week later it's completely gone so i don't know if something ate it or just completely disappeared but the nemo fish he's still hanging around there as well notice in the sandy area here's a giant clam that has never been there before another thing i've been noticing is how fast these anemones grow and attach to dead rocks for example, these ones are brand new with a bunch of dancer shrimps and a small tiny cute Nima as well. I love filming these guys. So what's really cool about these dives that I've been doing around Allegria is that we are literally the first ones to ever scuba dive for the last one and a half, two years since the resort was opened. So in a way, we're kind of blessed how we're able to see how the ecosystem develops, dies, grows, etc. And with the new marine cincture, we've been seeing a lot more of the smaller fish spawning and growing, and that just attracts bigger things. For example, these giant cuttlefishes fishes have been hanging around the reef, which we've never seen before. And 
Now there's one particular area close to the marine sanctuary that I'm really fond of and I always go back to because there's about 100 different type of coral species, fishes around there. And this time around, I see for the very first time in my life that I find a frogfish. <laughs> The moment I see him, I absolutely freak out. I'm literally screaming inside of my head, adrenaline pumping. And the only reason I spotted him is that he was actually moving. He was walking to his next place to start hunting. And I say that because they are the masters of camouflage. They blend so well in with the environment that they can actually change colors over time. And they're also quite funny looking fish because <laughs> You can see his face is very grumpy, he has a nose, and he almost looks like the, some of the orcs in Lord of the Rings, kind of half human face. <laughs> Now what's super awesome about this fish is that he has evolved into a master hunter camouflage over, I don't know, millions of years probably. Not only can he change colors and blend into the environment, he has a, sort of a fishing lure like we humans use to catch fish. <laughs> Attracting other ones and then he swoop it up in a lightning pace. Unfortunately, we didn't see him uh, catch any fish, but that's something to look forward into the future. Just look at that thing. Working like a fishing rod, attached to his nose, attracting other fishes to try to catch them. <laughs> How awesome is that? And after seeing this frogfish, I've definitely put all the rest of the species found in the Philippines onto my bucket list. So I'm gonna look forward into the future in the coming year or years to try to find all of them. You know, gotta catch them all, right? Alright, stay safe guys, rain is coming, until next time, peace out.